But I'll tell you the game that pops off the screen to me. Give it to us. It's in September. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about these two simply do not like each other to the point they both had to say, hey, we need to take a break. Yeah. But they're getting back together. <laughs> Tough game last year up in Morgantown. But West Virginia and Virginia Tech, it's just a perfect match of what college football is all about. And this place will be hopping when the Mountaineers come into town. Yeah. It will be great. I agree. I played in that game, and you really just don't like them. It was like, I don't know anybody on the other side of that field, but I don't like you. <laughs> and, and you could feel the energy. The hits were a little bit harder, so that place is going to be crazy for that one. Well, and you don't like them even more, especially after what happened last year, that week three don't game. After they, I know. They started with the two wins, and then that was a tough one. It was an emotional one. It was a hard-fought game. And, and then, you know, right there, not and even Kelsey, done. Nettie, it's the kind of game that we've talked about all week, no matter whether you're at Florida's State or Duke or North Carolina or Wake Forest, this conference, when you have those kind of matchups against Power 5 teams, those are game changers. Those are narrative changing kind of games. And whether you think West Virginia is great or terrible or whatever, those are the kind of games that this league has to start winning. And if you're Brent Pry, hey, what better way to start? If you're going to get BC, it'll be a big deal because it's a conference game. And a night game. And a night game. But that West Virginia game will be juicy. Now, I'm telling you, it's got, it's got something to it. Uh, 